Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and this is part two of the sheep costume. We're going to be making this little sheep hat. So this is what we will start working on. This part is made with Forever Fleece and this is made with Burnout Blanket. And you'll also need a pipe cleaner, um, two of them actually in order to get just a little bit of wire into the ears so that they're shapeable into being for our little sheep. So we're still going to be using the same stitch as in the costume. So I'm going to be working with darker yarn so that you'll be able to see a little bit better. Start with a magic ring, which I basically just make a, a slip knot that I don't pull all the way through. So just stop right there. And then insert your hook. We're going to chain one to get us started here. And then just work eight single crochets into that circle. Okay, double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, perfect. Now you'll be able to just pull the tail and it magically tightens right up for you. Now what I'd love for you to do is, is uh, mark the very last stitch. then you'll know that that's the last stitch of the round. Now go ahead and slip stitch to the first stitch, chain one, and working right into that very stitch that we slip stitch, we're going to work one single crochet and one bobble. Same stitch that we've been doing in the main body of the little sheep. It is a three together double crochet bobble. So we are going to be working one single and one bobble into each stitch around so that we have 16 stitches this round. So now we know this is the last stitch of the round and I forgot I should have had you mark the very first stitch too. If you look at this last stitch, you're gonna have one, two, this actually was our first stitch. This was our join, that was our chain one. So I'll just move that over there for a second. Okay, so in our last stitch, let's work our single and our bobble. Okay, so we're always going to want to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the row. So it is helpful to understand that you end, you've got two chains that you're skipping over, or two little Vs, and that's where we're joining. Okay, chain one. Now in this next round, 
we're going to be working one stitch in the first stitch and two stitches in the next one. So let's get our first single crochet of the round worked right into the very same stitch that we joined and this time I will for sure mark it. And if it helps you and you have a bunch of extra stitch markers, I like I do, I really like um, marking the stitches where I'll be working two stitches. So basically it'll be every other stitch around. If you want to take the time to mark it, um, it, it's just real easy to lose track when you're in the middle of it, especially if you get interrupted or anything. So, but of course this is optional, but I am going to take the time to just mark every other stitch because that's where I want to do the increasing. And I just buy these little stitch markers. They're Clover brand and I get them at Joann's or Michael's or online. They're everywhere. <laughs> okay, they're like little safety pins. There we go. And honestly, this is our last stitch of the round right there. There's our slip stitch. There's our chain one. This was the first stitch of the round. Okay, so in every marked stitch that's where you're going to double up and work a single and a bobble sorry i said that wrong it would be a bobble and then a single into the same stitch because we started the round with a single always going to be al uh, alternating bobble and single so in this same stitch that's considered the increase right there. Oh, I guess that's true. It's gonna be every other time. <laughs> uh, every other time. Just keep the pattern. That's the main important thing. If you do a bobble and then you've got your marked stitch, it'll be a single then bobble. So, and then it'll be opposite the next time. We're looking for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so if you want to double check, you should have 24 stitches. Here's our join over here, kind of end. You can see two stitches before, that's where we're gonna join. It's joining into the top of that single crochet. That was the first stitch of the round. Now one more around. We're gonna increase again, but this time we'll work, I guess you would say one-to-one -one stitching for the first two stitches. So the first two stitches will be one single crochet. And I'm gonna mark that first stitch and then one bobble, and then we'll work two stitches, single and a bobble in that one. So if you want to go one, two, and mark, it really helps. So mark every third stitch. One, two, three. That's where we're increasing. And work the same in the same way. Work your increases in the marked stitch. And we should have 32 stitches at the end of this round. All right, you should have 32 stitches here. Here's our first stitch of the round. And we will join. And now we do not need to increase anymore. So I'm joining. And I'm chaining one. And that was so now what we're going to do though is offset these bobbles. So since this was a single crochet that we started with, we are going to work 
not in the first stitch that we joined to. We're going to work single crochet into the top of that bobble and now mark that stitch. And you'll see when we come back around so that we'll be able to just continually go. So now work one stitch per one stitch. We're working a bobble into the top of a single crochet stitch from the previous row. And then we're single crocheting into the bobble stitch in the previous row. Okay, so do that. Work all the way around back to your first stitch and then I'll show you what we do when we get there. Okay, so we're back here to our first marked stitch and it is a single crochet, but we ended with a, with a bobble. And so what we need to do is just work one extra stitch in here so that we can keep them off set. So I am going to go ahead and work a single crochet kind of underneath that join stitch. If yours has gotten too tight, you can definitely work it in the single crochet, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to work the bobble into the top of that single crochet. And we should be good now. We have all the stitches that we need to go every other. We have 35 now, 33 now, 30, sorry, 33. And you need to get this to be about seven inches in length for that size 2T or 18 months kind of in there. That's about how long I did for baby James. So just keep working around and honestly, it's probably a good idea. Some, some people have a hard time seeing where that join is. So if you want to mark it so that you know where, where your rounds are, you'll go. So if you just keep working this around and around, it'll just straighten right up. Okay, so I'll work the rounds and then we'll get to where, um, so let me let me make sure I'm telling you right. Yeah, well, it's about seven and a half inches. Seven inches right up there, seven and a half. So we just want to work one, two, three, four, maybe five rounds and get some length. So I've worked my hat. I've got, it's probably about seven and a half inches. Just right there is the last, but I'm happy I put that marker here. That's how I'll know that kind of is the back of the hat. So what we need to do now though, is kind of split this hat into finding four stitches over here and I like marking them. Um, so kind of you can just get an idea already with it folded in half here. And then we'll count the stitches in between and make sure we're somewhat even. One, two, three, four. Mark over here, because we're going to be working those little flaps. Okay, so I'm gonna count the stitches in between these two stitch markers and adjust if I have to, and counting the stitches between these two and adjust if I have to. All right, I think it worked out good. There's 13 stitches here and 12 stitches in between here, and that's gonna be okay, because we do have an odd number of stitches, because we had to add that one to make sure our little bobbles were offset. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue the pattern over to that first marked stitch.
okay now let's go ahead and continue the pattern in these next four stitches Now we know that's our last stitch right here. So I want you to chain one and turn. And let's work four single crochets into each of the next four. I mean, one single crochet into each of the next four. Basically those four stitches that we made chain one and turn after that row of single crochet and let's start with a bobble and then a single and then a bobble and a single. Chain one and turn. We're making these little flaps here. So let's work one single crochet into each stitch. We're still working just with four stitches. Chain one and turn. Let's work one more little set of bobbles. So let's work a bobble here. Followed by a single. Bobble and single. Now this time, we are going to only work three single crochets. So skip the first stitch, work one, two, and three. Chain one and turn. And now we'll work single crochet bobble stitch and single crochet chain one and turn okay so we've got a cute little flap there oh yes we're going to work 20 chains and then work one slip stitch into each of these chains all the way back up. Okay, so once you have got back up here, you wanna just make sure that the bobbles are facing you because now we're going to work slip stitch all the way around to that other stitch marker and we want these slip stitches to kind of just give us a nice little border so that's why we want them facing us so we can see them so 
So work one slip stitch into each stitch all the way around to this stitch marker and then we'll make the other flap. Now we're here to the, the stitch marker, but the bobbles are facing us, so we still are going to slip stitch these next four stitches because we need to work the bobbles having them face away from us. Oops, okay. So there's our fourth one. Chain one and turn. And let's start with a bobble. And you can just work underneath that, that back loop that's facing furthest away from you. Right there. Let's get our bobble made. Bobble, single, I guess I'm going under two loops for that single. Either way, we just want to make it pop out. So whatever's the easiest loop for you to choose from. Okay, chain one and turn. It's a row of single crochet, a row of bobble, and then I'll meet you back. So after you make that second set of bobbles, remember we chain one and turned, we skip the first stitch and just make three single crochets on this row. Chain one and turn. And we're going to work single and get that bobble stitch right in the middle. And single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. Let's work one single crochet, skipping the first one, and then the other, and then we're going to chain one and turn, and let's work those 20 chains. Let's slip stitch back. Work your slip stitches back down the chain. Now, once we've got all the way back down, the bobbles are facing you again. Let's work those slip stitches at the end of each row here. Start right there. And I am going to work all the way around. We still need to do this half, this side of the other ear flap. We already did that one. So once you get to there, you don't need to you you don't need to go out and in. But I'll we're gonna just go ahead and double up so that we can get the other ear flap if that makes sense. Well, we'll just keep going around and I'll show you what. So with the bobbles facing you, work all the way around to this next ear flap over here. Now we're all the way back over here almost, but we, uh, we're, we've been, here's the thing is that we haven't done this side over here. 
So we're going to go ahead and slip stitch in just to the back loops, just along this um, this side. But then that way you'll you'll know that this is the back of the hat. It's just going to be doubled up just a little bit because we need to slip stitch all the way over here, and then we'll tie off over there. So how I'm going to do that is just insert your hook here. And then just get the little tie out of your way a little bit and just work into that loop. So yeah, you have just a little bit of a, of a cross in the back there, but you'll be fine. So this is around the back of the hat. We are working into those slip stitches that we already had done previously, but we'll be okay. So finish working all of that, and then it'll end right here and we'll tie off. So this is what it looks like along the back, just with an extra row of the slip stitch. And I worked it all the way to finish up this flat, this, this side of the flap. And I'll just cut and we'll weave that end in. And then in the next video, obviously you can Pull that tighter and weave it in um, and in the next clip I'll be attaching the ears onto the white hat and showing you how to make the ears and you'll just attach these on so cute you're almost done so at this point you'll want to weave in the ends just with a tapestry needle So we are going to make little ears to go for our little lammy or our sheep. They're going to look like this, but I'm going to show you how I put some pipe cleaner in here so you can shape them to the, to the exact shape that you want. Okay. These are super simple to make. We are going to need to make these out of burnout blanket because Forever Fleece doesn't sell a, a, a black. So, and honestly, you could substitute the Forever Fleece, but give yourself a long tail when you make this uh, slip knot. And you're going to chain six. and then work into the second chain from the hook. We're going to do four rows of single crochet. Chain one and turn. So I have four rows here, chain one and turn, and now we'll start decreasing. So skip the first stitch and work four single crochets in this row. Chain one and turn, skip the first stitch, work three single crochets. Chain one and turn, skip the first stitch, work two single crochets. Chain one and turn, skip the first stitch, work one single crochet, chain one and turn and work a final single crochet into that top. We want just a little bit more of a point there at the end. So then you're going to grab a pipe cleaner. So this is just that light wire that you get at the craft store. 
and I'm just, as I work one crochet, single crochet around the edge of this, I'm going to also be just working over the pipe cleaner. So get your first stitch ready to go and work your single crochet just to work it in there. I know this is black and it's hard to see, but I'm crocheting over the pipe cleaner. So inserting my hook underneath the pipe cleaner and the stitch and just working it around. Okay, I'm also not going to work any stitches in the corner when we get up here. Just keep going around, that kind of rounds out. The edge of the ear. Leave this tail out because we're going to need to use this for sewing. So just work one single crochet per stitch or per row down the sides. Now, right before you end, I took my pipe cleaners and I wrapped them around each other. So that kind of just like, I twisted them together. Hid that in there and then I worked my last single crochet and I'll slip stitch to the first stitch and tie off. Like that. And now when we sew these on, we've, we can, you know, might make them poke out a little bit more, just like a, just like a little sheep, how they kind of come out from the side of the hat. So what you'll want to do is with your tapestry needle, you know, you're gonna definitely mark, I suggest that you mark the exact spot, you know, here's the center of our hat right here. I'm probably gonna go one, two, three, down this way. I'll mark, mark it with the uh, marker and then do the same on the other side. I'll probably try it on Baby James first just to really make sure. And then you're going to sew it on and I put the thicker side up and the point down. I think that's, I think if it's the other way and it's fat at the bottom, that's more like a puppy dog. So if you go this way, it's a little sheep. And then that way we can kind of get that little sheep ear to poke out. And you're just gonna weave this one in, but this side will be for sewing. So get your tapestry needle and just wrap it in and out of this stitch. And that's it. You've got your little sheepy hat. All right, be sure if you're only seeing this, the costume is the, sh the actual sheep costume is in a different video. And good luck. Full pattern is on daisyfarmcrafts.com. Thank you so much.